what is going on guys my name is Hussein from the geo database team and uh, I'm here to uh, present a very interesting use case uh, a question actually from the GeoNet uh, from Israel GeoNet and uh, it was a uh, it was a slow arcade expression running uh, specifically on attribute rules and, uh, and the customer wanted to kind of optimize that and we went through the process of optimizing that expression for the attribute rule and, and, and it worked for them and I and I wanted to make a video and some some content to discuss that because I, I'm pretty sure some of you guys might run into the same problem uh, of optimizing or running slow script and then why would a uh, script run slow and and uh, these are like very few of the tips that you can do to optimize your arcade expression and your eventually your attribute rules all right how about we jump into it so this is the arcade expression from the customer uh, what they're doing here is they're opening a cursor a feature set by name on a class called line and the feature being edited which is dollar sign feature uh, it's apparently a line feature, so it has a, uh, the first end and the second end, the last point of the first point. They take the beginning and the end, and then they intersect that geometry, right, with the line class, which it, what they just opened. And uh, that will be the beginning point and the end point. And uh, regardless of what point they find, right, uh, they look at the beginning uh, feature they query that and then find a field called pipeline ID in this case right and then at the other end they do the same thing at the other end right and if those two uh, values are equal then they will return that value to the to the user if that is essentially if not equal then basically they abort and then just return the same value of the same feature for the pipeline ID so let's how about we jump into it and look at through what can we optimize in this query the first thing we look here is this right we're querying the line class right the asset line in this case and what we're doing here is we're pulling when you don't specify anything and the features are by name what that means is equivalent to this right that's the default value which means give me all fields for the asset line right and i'm also looking interested in the geometry and look at this right here what we did when we actually queried that table we only requested the pipeline so that was a waste so if this table has like a hundred fields in it we just pull those tables uh, those fields for nothing right so that's an optimization that you can do by just literally just doing that right that's the only field you're interested in only query what you absolutely need and since we really literally didn't use the geometry coming back from the server right we queried it and we haven't used the geometry look at that this is the line beginning feature we didn't use the geometry right yes we intersected the geometry but that doesn't mean we have used the output this means do you want the output to come back the geometry to come back from the output from the query well the answer is no right uh, that will significantly improve the performance right and since arcade is lazy loading really it's just this is going to execute right here right intersect and then intersect and here's another thing we can improve here as well since if you look at the script and to be honest you cannot always do that right uh, it depends on the use case but in that particular use case when we look at this we're executing two queries right the first thing is like a, get the geometry of the first endpoint and they get the geometry of the last endpoint and then do a query and do a query but if you really look at it we don't really care about both of the, those two right all we need to do is literally get the feature uh, uh literally get the feature by uh getting the value of this right so what we can do is actually minimize this by issuing one query instead of two right and what we can do is we can union those two geometry into one geometry right so you say okay let's union this geometry with this and then just like that now we have one geometry and we can issue one query right and that query 
will just give you the intersection, right? We don't care, really care of the beginning of the end in this case, right? And uh, when we get that result, just check, right? If So now we just got rid of two queries and replaced them with one. Now the change can happen at the client side. You can basically loop through all of that stuff, right? Var, var f in the intersected layers features and uh, we can start comparing the values right and then if none of them are equal then we can just quit right so we can do something like that right pipeline value equal null right and uh, we can just do this uh, pipeline equal f dot pipeline and uh, f pipeline equal equal null else if, if it has some value, then just compare it, right? Does the, does f dot pipeline equal equal pipeline, the value, if they are equal, then awesome. That's exactly what we want. We just return uh, the value, right? Because that's the same. That's exactly what we want, right? If, if we reached here and pipeline essentially uh, that means if we manage to reach all the way here, that means that condition was never uh, was never true. In this case, we can just, as they said here, they want to return the original value. So we can do this. And that kind of replaced the logic, right? That's the common ID, right? It's a very... it's it's way, This will run much, much faster because we just... Uh, minimized first what we the query itself now it's uh, instead of pulling all the fields and the geometry we don't need that so the query is less now and obviously uh we also eliminated two queries and replaced them with one so if you're running this attribute rule thousand times you just 50 percent of even more increase the performance of the uh, of the application so, so that's an example guys of just few things you can do in your arcade expression to optimize it to uh, make it run more efficiently and uh, i'm gonna make more videos like this let me know if you enjoy this kind of content we're gonna make some more of attribute rule tips and tricks i'm gonna see you in the next one guys goodbye